again. I hope you listening closely. We doing our own thing, but we doing this for the culture. Check out the top, check out the top. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop, and we keep it pop. You can be up next. You can be up next. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. Man, shit with kids. Like you gotta get hard off hair. I mess with the hell? Yeah. Right. I mess with if it's laying down. Yeah, nigga, go to the pool, got all that shit sticking out the side of the little bikini and shit. If you do what nobody, right. Yeah, you keep going with shaving back there. You know what I mean? Lay it laying down like Farrakhan, I fuck with it. <laughs> but, but if that shit lumped up like uh, Leon, <laughs> Leon Spinks, yeah. I can't do it. Because we might get caught. Peace. I shit, same thing. I don't want to. Get linked up. <laughs> That's DNA yeah, forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't even wash that out. She gonna have some of that hair on you for a minute. <laughs> Ooh, wee, yeah, if it lay down, I get down. Get down or lay down. Please, <laughs> Fur, you gonna do the um? You gonna, you gonna do the clap slap or thing something? Already? Man. Hope all that made it. More than culture. Nope. Oh, you just wasn't red. I don't know. No, no. We, we, can, we can talk about it again, man. <laughs> what is that spike book? It ain't it ain't unwrapped, so I ain't gonna open it. Damn. I wanted to look at it like a motherfucker. It's like um what is photo stills from all these films and shit. Oh, Spike Lee. Okay, it's pink. I thought it might have been like gay volleyball. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Spike. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Y'all niggas play volleyball in gym? Like PE? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah bro. Volleyball fun as hell. It is, bro. How come you can jump higher for volleyball than you can for basketball, though? I feel like when I was jumping to hit a volleyball, nigga, I, I was 10 feet above the rim. But you're like, we're playing I mean, football. Just... You faster when you chasing somebody than you then are on the clock. On the floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you, you got, got that fear. Yeah, yeah. You got that you dog. Thinking about it. That dog ran after you. <laughs> that dog ran after you. Fear is different, bro. <laughs> like, hey, bro, y'all got chased by dog, right? Oh, absolutely. What? Yeah. Stalked. Stalked. I left my I little brother. He was stalked screaming. by a dog <laughs> and then chased. Yeah. Damn. I stood as a the, puma on the fucking <laughs> on the uh, the rail of a porch <clears throat> and get for like. 45 minutes. Damn. Bro, with this dog just sitting down there staring at oh, me. And they were finna eat you. Bruh. And and, st and and still had to run. Yeah. 45 yeah. minutes later. So when so what like what about 45 minutes in, you was like, I got a break. I was like, fuck it, man. Okay. Like, I've I can't I, I can't sit up here all day. You can't. And nigga, I was it was Moreland. Mm -hmm. So nigga, I stood up there until it was a break in traffic because nigga, I had to run across four lanes. Oh shit. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Any other way, I felt like this dog is gonna catch me if I don't run across more than Avenue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I lived like a block down off one of the little <laughs> side streets. So I just hopped up off that motherfucker and got down. skirted. I ain't played it when I got home, this nigga wasn't behind me, so. Yeah. You can't was, look back. If you, you look back, to play. if you look back, you caught. <laughs> Nigga just wanted to play with you, bro. 45 nah, minutes. Nah, nigga. Fuck that. That motherfucker was drooling and growling and shit the whole time. It was it was a mutt. It was a pit. It was it had pit bull in it. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't. It had no, some lot, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, 12 of them teeth That lock. motherfucker was barking and growling the whole time. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't no friendly no, no, guy. Hey, hey, you go to people's house and a dog is barking and growling. Oh, he okay? He don't bite. He don't yeah. bite till you get to know you. Well, I'm not trying to make friends with <laughs> no goddamn dog. <laughs> I come over here to fuck with you. I don't give a fuck about your dog. I get to know you. I yeah, don't get to I'm know your dog. I'm not establish no relationship. <laughs> no goddamn German Shepherd. What the fuck? Why you got German Shepherd in the house, first of all? Yo. That nigga shit big. My mom, ain't, my mom ain't play that shit back in the day. Dogs in the house? What? That's white people stuff, right? It was back then. Now mm -hmm. it's universal. Yeah, you got to yeah. put that dog outside. When I said there ain't no house dog. Hmm, hell no. Nah. My dad stole some white people uh, poodle during the Easter egg hunt. <laughs> what? He did what, what now? He stole some white people poodle during the Easter egg hunt. Because <laughs> nigga thought Kids out he there hunting for eggs. Uh, we out there doing the eggs. <laughs> All of a sudden, he come back. Get, 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 get a cop. Get, get, get a cop. <laughs> like, what's going, what's going on? We getting a cop. Poodle sitting there. 
the fuck? We gonna breed him. I'm gonna make some money. Now he took the people's dog <laughs> and said he gonna breed him. But nigga, who you gonna breed him with? Where, where you gotta find and, another poodle in the hood. Ain't nobody in the hood. Yeah, we got pit bulls and Rottweilers. Uh, ain't no dog. Uh, see, he was on to something though, because he could have had a a, a, a patootle. Yeah, the pitbull was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh hell no, nah. <laughs> nigga! I imagine a pitbull and a poodle mix like some big head squirrels. Hell yeah, them goddamn puppies, front flips. Yeah, but it was it was it was a trick. The dog was pampered, and then when we heard that first meal, that, those spaghetti. <laughs> he was looking at us like, "Are y'all niggas serious?" <laughs> As a pitbull and a poodle. As a patootle. Oh, for real? It they do. Sick. I've never. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a real. People shouldn't do that. That dog like Sam Cassell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dog looks real sad and bad. <laughs> sad and bougie. <laughs> <laughs> you say you left your brother when the dog was chasing you? Yeah, nigga couldn't keep up on bike. Told him to come. <laughs> you couldn't keep up with your bike. He was on yeah, foot. He was on bike. He, he was, couldn't keep up with us. He's oh. a he younger. You gonna yeah, like a okay. dirt? We we was ah, we was out there. It. He back to screen. Ah, don't leave me. Hey son. <laughs> <laughs> he got bit. Life hard. <laughs> he got bit. The dog bit at the tie. Mm-mm. And he wobbly <laughs> bit. Wobbly. And he down. lost car. But when he started wobbling the bike, it actually scared the dog. Mm. Cause of the dog. Bounce, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. my brother got tackled by a great dane. Damn. Yeah. Damn. We talked about why is that loose great day. dane? It wasn't even loose, bro. bro. <laughs> it was at my mama friend house. We talked to my mother about this shit to this day. Like, why did you put us back there? <laughs> that big ass dog. <laughs> Nigga, this dog this big. Yeah. Bro. That's his back. Right, on, head. on fours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you head at the ceiling. Dog big as hell. Dog tackled the shit on my brother. He got the scar on his leg to this day. Mm. My brother was extra sensitive with dog because when he was three, he got mauled by a dog. Mm-hmm. I watched it. He got dog toys. So you don't ass watch up. your brother get attacked by a dog. How many hey, times? Damn, man. I'm, your five. Still I'm five. To I'm five. I'm <laughs> five. Hey, no, nah, it gets worse. So I'm five. Dog tear his ass up. He, <laughs> he come off the hill straight bloody. Oh. I'm going to get some help. The ducks, he trying to reach for me. Nigga, yeah, you got the blood on your son. Hold on. I gotta get that duck, man. I don't know. I'm do fine, son. I don't know. Oh, don't I know. cannot help you. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing I can do for you, man. Yeah, man. Like you <laughs> scared of me, matter of fact. Exactly, nigga. <laughs> you like some shit off a movie, man. <laughs> man, hell no. Nah. I remember okay. one time when I, uh, shit, I was in, we was in college, and this was summer school. Niggas was hooping all day. Went back to my homeboy's apartment. He's like, boy, I just got a pit bull. You gotta come see my dog. <laughs> It was July 3rd, so we was still we was just gonna cook out and all that shit. Man, niggas had got so high off mid, right? Like 12 mid blunts. <laughs> gone. Ate about four burgers. And I'm sitting on the floor. And I forgot that he was like, You gotta come see my dog. And all of a sudden this dog come out of nowhere. And nigga, like, bro, <laughs> this motherfucker was such a mutt. And his eyes was red, and he looked like um, Santa's helper. Remember Santa's helper? Ah, from the, the Simpsons. Simpsons, nigga. And that motherfucker was scra- and scratching the shit out of me, right? I was so high, I couldn't move the fucking dog. That shit just kept just scratching the hell out of me. I was like, yo, your dog. <laughs> <laughs> your dog. He's like, oh, shit. That motherfucker scratched the blood out of a nigga, bro. And Wait, I, just doing this? He, just he doing it like that. And I just, I don't know why I couldn't move, man. That was back when me, it was really hitting, though. Yeah. Yeah, man, it was different. Yeah, man, it was hidden. Me, it's still kind of hidden. I wouldn't. Know. That's true. <laughs> That's true for some. Yeah, I wouldn't know at all. I don't know. Last time I had some mid, I purpose. called you about some mid one time. You I know. Threatened to hang the phone on my. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. You my friend, <laughs> but I just let you know, man. I don't know where to find it. <laughs> I'll be wanting to help. You gonna have to call somebody sixty five to find it. <laughs> Shit, and he gonna have to call somebody eighty two. Hey man, <laughs> man let me call my old head. Strong, dog. <laughs> the new shit too strong. I can't do it, dog. That's fair. I'm too old, man. Especially shit too strong, you, man. If you stopped for a little while, then came and mm-hmm. then tried to, yeah. That should have taken you might you might could find some like OG or some like like maybe maybe some popcorn somewhere like I just got some bad wouldn't weed. Know. Yeah, I just smoked some weed that's supposed to be gas and it was just bad weed. So I was like, there's, there's some mid out here still. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You smoked mid three weeks ago on purpose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Identify. Oh, you was in Jamaica. Mid? Ethiopia. Got you. Y'all got mid. <laughs> Tell me, don't do Jamaica like that. Y'all know. Come on, bro. It is not. It's just not growing. Endo. It's natural weed and it don't taste it's good and it's mid. Yeah. That's what makes it mid. 
No, because it's grown in the yard. That's me. Yeah, I've only I, been to Jamaica once. And the, I, the weed I had over there was decent. Okay. Was you know, I, I went one, the one time, too. It was like it was bright green and, you know what I'm saying, had a cool little taste to it and I got high. Yeah. Most of the rest of that shit, though, is just like make your throat. Dry. Let me ask you this about Jamaica. Like you say, you been one, you went one. Nah, I, I be the once. niggas that 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 hey. work at the resort and shit. Is well, that is that and the niggas that's on the other side of the gate at the resort? More than culture is the brand. It's the more than culture show. Come on, yeah, Secret Genius, Tyler Chronicles, Marvin Hunter. Yeah, my dog in the building, man. I'm a light skinned Ron, uh, uh, Ronnie Jordan. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, give it for Lonnie Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, um, he um. You've you've been on a show before. You had just hadn't been in the studio though, right? Mm -mm. Oh, you never been? Nope. Damn, I thought we had. Y'all follow me like that? No, nah, that's a lie, Marvin. <laughs> you've been on the show. Oh yeah, I see. Right? I see the screen cap. No, yeah, I can't go. I went to him. You came with Miss Jen when we was yeah, over there on All right, Metropolitan. Yeah. Right. You yeah. definitely came mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. One hundred percent. Oh, I about to say. You go, oh wait, we got I came cap. for some. It was, but it wasn't a. Y'all was doing something else. It was nah, a. We, it was some kind of. It was before the show. Episode. I did some stuff for y'all before the show. We just wasn't. We just wasn't releasing the video episodes back then. Yeah. You want an audio episode, but you want an episode. For yeah. Sure. One hundred percent. Anyway, right. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> um, first of all, a, a veteran. So thank yeah. you, sir, for your service. One yeah. of the um, funniest comedians that you're going to see. Um, he's based out of here in, uh, in Atlanta from Mississippi. Um, um, heart of the city. Um, the, had the best set in Heart of the City. I'm talking about Kev was crying. Um, our friend, ladies and gentlemen, Marvin Hunter. Marvin Hunter's in the building. Yeah. What up, what up, the what grumpy up? uncle. The grumpy what up? uncle. Yes, sir. We really just wanted to invite you here to show our love for your, I mean, your talent and everything, but Appreciate also you, man. to um, tell you to stop sending us your videos on Instagram. Oh yeah, that's the main reason. We yeah, we don't really. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> like, man, you gotta, you gotta, I got, I got a clump. I got a clump of people. I got a clump of people, man. I, I, I just let them fly. Let them fly. But, man, I, like, I know I'm one of twenty, so I ain't got. Y'all ain't the only one that said it. I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Like, it's a, it's a, you it's a and block. Mope. When we get Mope on here, oh, we gonna get Mope on here. Tell her, hey, hey, Mope sent me one fifteen minutes ago. I apologize to you. No, I get it. Hey, bro. I apologize to you. You be getting it off, bro. I see your, I see your numbers growing. It's, so it's working. Do your thing, man. But like, yeah, man. We, I just really had to let you know, hey, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna watch it anyway because I fuck a, with you. I'm gonna see it. Long way, long and way. I'm gonna engage with it. Yeah, I got your engagement, dog. I'm gonna engage. I'm yeah. gonna put some emotion. Hey, on that. Man. Y'all ain't the only one told me that. Man. I gotta slow down, man. I, I gotta down. slow down. I apologize. Nah, it's so, but like, but you feel pressure. Hey, man. No, every no. Cause everybody. I, I don't we even, I don't do. even trip on whether somebody look at it or not. I just feel like I'm doing my due diligence to get you it out. Like you feeling right. pressure, yeah. like I have to do this yeah, in order yeah, to yeah, work. Yeah, like yeah, ain't yeah, that crazy? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Like I have to, I have to do yeah. a video and get. But you're re you're really good at the shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I haven't found my niche on on certain things, so I don't know. But you're good at kind of like seeing something and then kind of reporting your 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 it, your view on it, which is what comedians do. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, but but you do it, it, isn't do you feel like it's crazy? How, how long you been doing comedy? Uh professionally in 2010. But I've been okay. dabbling in it since uh 2002 when I was in the military, but I was taking like a year off with diplomas and so 2010 mm. I went professional. Got you. You ain't mm -hmm. tell no jokes on your deployment. You ain't, you ain't get no sets in on your. Uh, you on fuck the around. Shirt. You fuck okay. around a bit. Yeah, but it wasn't nothing. That was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey man, that was horrible. When I first started, you where were you? Where were you stationed when you first? Hawaii. When you say you was dabbling. Okay, Hawaii, Hawaii and yeah. Guam. Hawaii and Guam. Okay, Guam mm -hmm. got them little um them little Pacquiao looking thick chicks. Oh yeah, let tomorrow. Mm -hmm. little, little compact joints. Yeah, little compact. What you call them? Guam. Tomorrow. That's that. That's tomorrow. what they they. Mm -hmm. Call yourself. I be calling them Guami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them look Guami a whole thick. That sounds like something new. At yeah. Tyler Bay. They got them thick calves and shit. They be like Chamorro. Yeah. Like Chamorro, like, yeah. It's talking about Taco Bell. So. <laughs> 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 Let me get that get some Chamorro with my Chimuro goddamn Bell Grande. Yeah, I was out there three years. Okay, mm -hmm. and and you said and you were like doing shows like out there a little bit. That's when you started. Yeah, that's that's where the bug actually bit me because it wasn't really a lot of comedy you could expect in Guam. Sure. But uh, uh, they had the uh, BT style comic uh, shows that came through Japan, mm -hmm. down through like Philippines, through Guam. Gotcha. It was coming and to different they were bases. Coming, they were coming to Guam, and the radio DJ out there was supposed to host. 
and he knew it was going to attract all the black people from the bases. He was scared to do it. Mm. He asked me to do it. It was Vanessa Fraction, Frank G, and uh, Honest John. Oh, wow. And I hosted the whole weekend and did well. And they gave me feedback like, you got it. And, gotcha. I, and it really clicked. It clicked for me then. Oh, you know man. <laughs> you want more exclusive content? Shit that you can't see nowhere else. Anywhere else. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon. Yes. We got different tiers for your mm -hmm. budgets. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20. Come shop with us. Yes. We telling everything over there. It's huh? 5, 10, 20, but y'all will see when y'all get there. Y'all, yeah, yeah, but you, you can get a 10 and a 5. That yes, made 15. Yeah. Patreon exclusive content, man. Yeah. Never before seen footage, new and old, man. Make sure you tap in. Weekly drops or bi weekly drops, early releases, early, early ticket releases. access. And what happens on Patreon stays on Patreon. Mm -hmm. You dig? Yeah. More than culture. You just can't not touch that microphone. <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Why you brought them back out? I was dog? having a good day. <laughs> yeah, man. I thought I you. Had, I thought part of your like <laughs> your leveling up yourself was getting rid of stuff like this, man. Man, I was having a good day. I ain't never had an outfit ruin my day so much. Uh, <laughs> this one, bro. What's up, dog? What's up, gang? We want everybody good, to see the gym. Good to see hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a church I'm belt. I'm not dapping you up, dog. Yeah, with a church belt. With Reebok Classics on. Yeah. I ain't mad at the classics. I'm mad at the And I don't be want to, you know what? I don't want to say nothing because then they be like, man, all, all Tyler do is roast Remo. If he ain't da da da. Nah, no, this roast ain't Remo. roasting. This is voicing concern. So, if I say anything, so I have to roast I'm them. lost. I'm lost. <laughs> So how many appearances have these jeans made? Too many. <laughs> Ten too many, nigga. The, the first time we saw them, everybody agreed that these are the worst pants we've ever Everyone seen. Everyone agreed. He was on stage with them, and people was in the chat <laughs> oh. saying how bad <laughs> your jeans was. You know, at, oh. at the spot. Yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah, get yeah, the chat, yeah, yeah. He had them on, and it was going off. So Because, like, you couldn't tell if they were short. So you have an emotional connection? So, <laughs> <laughs> so you get these jeans when you buy Donald Trump shoes? Oh, and I was early. The cute dog boots. Oh, cute dog boots. <laughs> <laughs> bigot, five bigot. <laughs> bigot, five bigot. Five bigot, five Let me bigot. tell you something. That's a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Those shit. are some nice jeans you have on, sir. I appreciate it, sir. Come on now. I appreciate it. You, 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 you got me scared because uh, <laughs> we jean <laughs> reviewing my. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah we're like, having a jean <laughs> retreat. Oh, yeah, you don't watch the show. All right, you got to put Marvin up on the game, man. Yeah, this Remo is a jean expert, man. Yeah. Okay. Is, uh, All right. Or whatever I mean, you this call nigga him. has several right. pairs of terrible jeans. Several, several pairs. pairs. Yeah, yeah, bro. Well, I'm, I'm just, just ahead of the curve. You're ahead, ahead of the curve. curve. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're ahead of the mountain. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Ain't nobody it don't see matter what's in. going on. Whatever landscape yeah. it is, I'm ahead. <laughs> you <laughs> win. Like snack pack, man. Damn. You did. We were just talking about that the other day, how yeah. far ahead of our time we were. You ever catch a snack pack? Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's our improv group. Actually, mm -hmm. where I met Remo mm -hmm. and Kamal. Uh, and Southside Trio. Who is yeah. son this Big QLT Trio. Shout out to the pack, man. Yes, sir. Crystal Roberson sure. killing. I still got to watch that Dr. King and MLK joint. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and Malcolm X, sorry. Yeah. Right. All right, so boom. You were uh, you were starting comedy in, uh, uh, um, and, doing, and you were hosting the show. I think that's yeah. where it was at. And uh, Vanessa and Frank G and Honest John gave me great feedback. Mm -hmm. And that's when it clicked like, oh, shit, I might be able to do this for real for mm -hmm. real because you know i started doing coming to hawaii and then i started doing it in guam i ain't never really performed for no black people mm. so it was some intimidation now so i got the uh, whole base i got everybody you yeah. know from all the air force navy there stuff like that so and i did well all weekend four shows for them and they was telling me how great i did keep going so i always you know shout out to vanessa fraction i always shout her out for that so yeah. Yeah, her uh, her encouragement along with that, they, they, that would push me forward. That's fire, man. That's what I'm saying. I yeah, always man. try to encourage the new comedians. Yeah. Speaking of, man, shout out to young Demarcus Head. It's a comedian in Memphis this shout weekend, out, man. man. 18 years mm -hmm. old. Okay. Nigga, look, sound like K hey, Dub. <laughs> oh, Are man. you serious? I'm, I'm a little baby bro. With the yeah, with the the the, the Afro dub. <laughs> Afro dub. <laughs> Afro beast dub. Yeah, man. So shout K out to K Fro. K Fro. 
His his dad is actually K Dub's uh, classmate. Like they were in school together. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Too okay. Close, bro. Way too okay. close. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Sure yeah. His yeah. Daddy. Hey, that's what I asked. Him. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see. <laughs> yeah, All right. So bro. you said you you wasn't you wasn't no good. When when did you figure that out? You wasn't no good at comedy. Oh, I knew it immediately. I just started off good. Yeah, 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 we all was horrible. Like we, we, we was horrible. Oh, okay. You know well, when I first started. You know what I'm saying? Horrible. Like, all right, Bro, you got to explain it. Everybody went horrible. I think if I think if you're talking about like, all right, I go back and look. Okay, boom. But in the moment, I didn't feel like it was horrible. But it made me feel like you felt like you was like horrible. Okay, first first time I got up, I got laughs. I got I got laughs. Boom. You know what I'm saying? But third time I ate a dick. Okay, I ate a dick a third time. Got a little and, confident. And, you know, got got two over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's right uh, about the third time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit yeah. come get your ass, ah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. It ain't like, easy uh, as you thought. Like nah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The lady in front, like she not laughing. Like man, what's wrong with you? I'm waiting for the real comic to show up. Bitch. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, one real, of them I'm, I'm new and you don't understand. I want to beat you in the head right now. <laughs> don't talk to me like that in front of these people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have jokes right off top, or were you like observing the room? Man, I'm doing whack ass shit. I <laughs> hack shit. I heard somewhere like I'm, I'm mostly messing with my state, Mississippi. Yeah, you know, but it wasn't nothing memorable. Um, you know, I never, I never had no aspiration to be no comic. I always was funny. And I always loved comedy, but comedy <laughs> kind of found me. You know mm. what I'm saying? I, uh, I got divorced and. The bitch took everything. Mm, so that's now funny. I've got to move back in the barracks. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was fun at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, 11 <laughs> years. Man, how much shit you could accumulate in 11 man, years? Ooh, bro, you took all 11? Everything, bro. All I had to call my clothes. <laughs> Move back hey, in man, the past. That's hilarious. Y'all nigga got married. <laughs> oh, dumb ass nigga. Man, hey, fair, hey, nigga. Hey, man, 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 nigga. I got married when I was 20, like an idiot. Mm, yeah. Oh, man. I that's was about to, too, though. Like an idiot. Yeah. Arima yeah. was a no. Oh, nigga, I he was, was, a, nigga. He was a yes away from being <laughs> oh, married. Oh, man. <laughs> I had one. He one yes. was crushed that he wasn't. Man. You right. feel me? <laughs> <laughs> the denim stopped. The dream. So she took everything. <laughs> and so I had to move back in the bathroom with this dude. And he was a comedian. And he was horrible. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to open mics with him. I'm just looking at everybody. Bomb. Like, nigga, they can do this shit. Okay. Right. I can try it. My man got a DUI. And he was in the Marines. So Marine player shit locked him up. And so I'm in the room, fuck around with the mic. I'm like, man, I'm go down there. I went down there told dude, say, on Tuesday night, say, hey, man, I want to I try. He said, put your name on the list. Put my name on the list. He called my name. I hit in the back. I won't come out. <laughs> oh, no shit. Next Tuesday, I did the same thing. Put my uh, name on the list. He hit in the back. I won't come out. I came the third time. He's like, man, you waste my fucking time. Yes, you, you are. Uh, I said, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to do it. He even said your name. Yeah. Twice. Right. Right. Yeah, let me call your name on yeah, the stage. Yeah, man. And that third time I went up there, I got that laugh. And... You know, I don't know yeah. how dope feel, how crack feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, That's it felt, how I feel. It felt mm -hmm. like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I know exactly. So I've been how chasing it ever since. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It got to be it. Yeah, man. You got to be the how to feel. Right, my uncle was on crack. I explained to him. He said, yeah, probably like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my uncle was on crack, too. Maybe I should have that conversation with him. Yeah, man. <laughs> the first time, I, maybe the first or the second time I did company, Roxy Reynolds was in the crowd. Mm -hmm. How could you like, focus? That's I good not. He did not. I did not. You bomb? I, 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 for that moment. <laughs> and probably for the rest of the time, but for that moment, I damn sure was out of it. I she knew it. walked in? Nigga, she walked in right in front of me, slow oh, motion. That ain't so far. Nigga, I'm like, that ain't yeah. the music we're supposed to hear. She's not like a lady. In my mind, you see, you yeah, see porn in person. Yeah. That was bad. She's you not know, like a lady. Have you seen porn in person? Hear bomb She's a whore. Yeah, nah, nigga. You supposed to hear some West Coast rapping? Y'all jack y'all dick too hard. You supposed to jack it slow, man. You supposed to make love. You make love to your dick. You supposed to make love to certain girl. Right. They got there making love. That was teenagers. That was wild. What you just said? That was crazy. Like you, you don't make love. You like candles? Your hands? You like yeah, candles? Yeah, man. Sometimes you just gotta get it. You feel like a loser. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Hey man, if you thrust your hips like Jack, hey bro, you. That's what it, that's <laughs> this <laughs> nigga <laughs> just <laughs> said sometimes you gotta got that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey man, yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> if your hips don't stay still while you jacking off, you're something wrong. <laughs> yo, yeah. this is wild. You fucking your own hand, bro. Yeah, you man. You, you feel what? 
Therapy. Oh, that's that's crazy, I'm say bro. Therapy, nigga. That's wild, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. You ain't got a flashlight pussy yet. I'm gonna buy one. Man, nah, that's the flashlight pussy. Damn. This is the morning culture show. This is the end of the episode, man. We're gonna start a fresh episode. <laughs> new man, cast member. Like, Welcome my new cast member, <laughs> Marvin Hunter. He got the man. jeans. We, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a chick tried to use one of them uh, uh automatic hand jacker things. I don't like that shit. Uh, like what? the the machine that like the, the guard guard. Nah, nigga, this is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ferg is in disbelief. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Ferg said that. Right. For real? <laughs> You're in such a piece into an apparatus? The, uh, the, right, I'm right. being for real about the machine thing, though. I'm not bullshitting about that. Like, it was like moving up now. I, it, I was like... Hold on, she, she, got, she presented that to you? Yeah, she had bought like a whole bunch of little oh, wow. joints, and that was one of the things. It was like the you don't walk in the room and there's a whole bunch of apparatuses sitting down. <laughs> nah, it wasn't like that. She was like, she, it was in a bag. They so they were mostly oh, all for her. What? They oh, were in a bag. Okay. They weren't sitting like on a table. Okay. They were oh, explain. You know I mean? she, she, yeah. She just opened the bag. Was like. You know how women, you know how women for like Valentine's Day or some shit, they'll get you a gift, but it really be a sex toy for them. Yeah. And it's like this is a bullshit gift. I'm not taking this <laughs> fucking. Um, Ain't no plug home with me. <laughs> that's for you, and you know it. Like that's not a gift for me. This is bullshit. Women are crazy for that. But yeah, but so one of the things was the gawk gawk thing. She had a fucking um, gawk gawk. The uh, yeah, it's called yeah, a you know the suck your dick for you basically. It's yeah. a machine that suck your it's, dick. It's called a gawk gawk. That's that's the like the the viral version of it. I think okay. she had got he, the Kroger he'll brand. He'll change the link, yeah. <laughs> You can get one, Marvin. You can get one, dog. I'm good. All right. He says, well, heard on talk no more, so the, I probably can't see it. The guac, 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 guac. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't see, I can't remember the name. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. She or, had a fucking, uh, it guac, was a thing guac, where you pour guac. plaster in it, like yeah. you make a penis mold. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my God. Yeah. So you like to make a deal, like a, like a dildo of my shit so she but can you, have. But you know what's crazy? Yo, it ain't nothing weird no more. Cause everybody do everything. Is that weird? Ain't nothing crazy no more. I stopped listening, I ain't gonna lie. Copy. Yep. Um. <laughs> so 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 so, are there any wanna... vaginas you would want to just remember and, and just like? Nah, I don't think they'll up? be able to make it like that. Because the mold is like it's hard. You, you know got to put a heartbeat in the pussy too, though. You can't just yeah, it's too, that's difficult. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot. You put a heartbeat in the pussy. Yeah, and if you're not yeah. fucking dead pussy on the regular, then they probably ain't gonna feel good. All right. Man, our sponsor is going to love this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at Shake Face. <laughs> yeah, pussy's crazy. Yeah. Had yeah, some of those crazy. dice. You ever had one where we like, had those dice with like sex positions on it and you roll it and whatever. Yeah, game, game. All the good games. A little yeah. shit like that. So yeah, it was like a bunch of that shit. And I was like, none of this is for me. Yeah. Like, none of this is for me. I'm not taking none of this home. Women, are, women are selfish, y'all. Yeah, women are selfish. Yeah. I know a dude and <laughs> the white, they go to strip club. They trying to do a threesome. The wife meet somebody and bring her back home. Let the girl move in, but he ain't allowed to touch her. <laughs> he, he, he just gotta watch. I like nigga. I kick everybody out the house. You crazy as hell. That sound like the plot from Misery Part Two. Bro, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> insane. The wife says she's she's sleeping in the same bed, but the wife sleep in the middle. He ain't allowed to touch her. He, she, he could just watch that. She done bought a girlfriend Yo, now. The stripper. Yeah, something. move her in. Move her in. Move her in. Who is this girlfriend? She probably be like, oh, you know what? I actually got it pretty good. Right. I ain't got to touch this nigga, but I'm also protected in case somebody come in the house. I got a <laughs> shelter. <laughs> got a place to <laughs> live. Right. I got a shelter. Look, some, something to eat. People do swear, is it? What? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, why he tell you? Uh, yes, that's a good question. <laughs> that's, something, that's, that's a good something question. I feel like you need to Because he wasn't food. just telling me. He was telling people. Yeah. I guess it's his therapy, it's though. Because I guess he was, he was hoping that one day that he would get to touch her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? Also, <laughs> also, like, yeah, he ain't got a whole lot of hope. I, I, that, did yeah, I just say that? You can't be in a friend zone in a marriage. You know Bro. what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be like, that's fair. Man, he can't yeah. one day. Yeah, he can't be sleeping three deep in the bed mm, every night. That's, that's true. True. on anniversary. Crazy. Like people, people, <laughs> for how many years? Or how long? I don't know. Too long. Yeah, yeah too one long. night is too long. Yeah, <laughs> two nights. Yeah. Two nights. Too but his wife, his wife, his wife <laughs> wore the pass. His wife wore the pass. So. I've been that bitch for about four months. <laughs> I mean, it's tonight the night. I might give it a. I might get. <laughs> yeah, I if it's her home. house. No, niggas, it's your, your house. marital home. Y'all married. married. Oh, that's right. You did say that. I was just thinking about it, bitch. This <laughs> uh, <laughs> is a bitch. I stay over there about three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all, I'm going to see, see how this work out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Married party. I'm, I'm bad. I take that out. 
I ain't that That's type of nigga. Wow. But if it was just like a chick I'm rocking with, and she yeah. just got a, she bought a chick back from the strip club and was like, yeah, I really fucking with her. I don't want you to touch her. I stay over there two more days. Hell yeah. Because women get tired of like women are yeah, that's making a tired situation. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I stay long enough, she gonna get fine. tired of her, and then, then boom, <laughs> yeah, there I go. Yeah. All three days seems fun. Yeah, it do seem fun. Cause she can't cook. Hmm. Every day, a woman is a gang. Three Uber eats, three people. Her Uber Eats? That's me. Nigga. Every day with it's every day with women is a game though. Uh-huh. It's a, every day with women is a game. It's like you yeah. gotta try to play play the game. I I know a comedian that we all know. He <laughs> fucked he fucked a threesome up so fucking bad because uh-huh. he got a name never did no threesome before. He in there playing key sweat and kissed the, the <laughs> new bitch on the forehead in front of the other girl and pissed <laughs> off and fucked the whole thing up. Forehead kiss. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nigga playing key sweat. This Guess nigga that lit some candles. He trying to be romantic. <laughs> A romantic threesome is hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. First of all, unless it's like y'all are really a couple. And shit. <laughs> romantic threesomes are hilarious. <laughs> the romantic threesome is. Hold on, let me set the mood. Uh, That's That's like the, mood. the mood is set. It's two bitches. <laughs> Everybody agrees. There was an agreement. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't kiss him on the forehead till you finish. You know I mean, I had to shush your mama before because uh, this back in the day, because I wasn't married, of course. And uh, she was Filipino, and uh, she couldn't talk good. And she kept saying, "Puck me, you motherfucker!" I was like, <laughs> like, "Like, like, like, shh, don't." T-. And then Jodis was like, "Don't talk, just listen." I was just shh, like, "Puck me, you motherfucker!" <laughs> like, I'm not dick about to get soft. Can't do it. Can't do this. You got to shut up. And then she said, "Then she gonna say, why? Because you put a B in the word that ain't got a B in it. Why?" <laughs> Got them thick tongue, Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, for the people that can't, they, they peas and they elves. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 it's part me. They have a hard time pop. with it. He said, like, Marvin, you're the fucking punny. You hilaria, bitch. Hilaria? Fuck it. Now, that's Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga fucking some little Pacquiao <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, we we do some, uh, usually with Ronnie, we have a... a Thing here we do called uh, uh, road stories. Mm-hmm. So you got any road stories you can impart with our culture Ricans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got two. Can I tell two? Of you course. Tell four. Okay. So, so when I um, <laughs> you can't tell four. <laughs> when I when I when I <clears throat> retire for the military and I and I'm uh, now my first road gig going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like I mean I'm happy, bro. I'm like the Lord shined on me. I'm out here <laughs> doing my thing, bro. I ain't got me. Lord, a, yes, I got me a new truck, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still South Carolina. I gotta go to Memphis. Fuck it, because at that time I had went nowhere. The only place I've been, I've been to Wilmington or uh, North Carolina. Do Nick Lewis room and Statesboro, Georgia. Do Barbara Carla. I haven't been Shout driving nowhere else. So I'm going to Memphis. Somebody hire me, bro. Yeah. To tell a joke, man. I'm headline. happy as hell, man. I'm headline, head, I'm headline bro. Yes, sir. Bro, I'm driving, bro. And I've been to Memphis, but I ain't been to Memphis. Okay. I ain't been to the real shit. So I'm man <laughs> riding down road. I get to Memphis. I don't even think. I ain't called the promoter and asked about no hotel or nothing. I ain't oh, man. did nothing. So I get there and I pull it to a gas station. A bunch of crackheads walking around. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of activities going mm-hmm. on around. <laughs> so I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone yeah, trying to get him on the phone. I'm sitting in my truck and I feel the truck doing this shit. Oh, uh, you got hydraulics? <laughs> shit. I look up. A crackhead leaning his back on my shit and my door handle with his hand trying to lift up, go ahead. Nigga, oh, you know how to handle this. I looked down. I love my pistol. Because oh, I'm so excited, man. I love my pistol. Bro, so I turned the key. I, I hit the, I hit the, well, I look at the rear view mirror. I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh. I'm in here. Right. <laughs> you, you can't break in the car with somebody in here, nigga. So, so I finally get the promoter on the line. This motherfucker, uh, he gonna say, uh, where you at? You here already? Yeah. Uh, oh, damn, dog. <laughs> damn, dog. Uh, man, I'm still at work, man. Um, uh, let me call you back. <laughs> call <me> back. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, like, man, what the fuck, man? So he called back. All right, meet me at this address here. I'm thinking the address is the hotel. Right. Mm-hmm. I put up to a, a house, mm. and I'm like, nah, like, I'm not, what the fuck? Are I? So I called him back. He said, yeah, man, that's my house, man. Just go, just go on there. My, my kids wait. Oh, they, they know you're coming. Oh, just go, just go oh, on there. Wait, they wait on. I'll be there. Nigga, I don't know you or your kid, bro. bro now I'm, a family I'm not member. fucking coming into just your bro. fucking house. So I'm sitting at the car. I'm like, I'm not going there. 
<laughs> I'm calling him out, telling everybody, man, before you even believe what the fuck. He called back, man, where you at? I'm out in front. Man, my kid waiting on you, man. Go on in there, man. Going in there. Not. With your fucking <laughs> kids, dog. Your kids. I'm not going in there, man. Boys on this nigga, bro. bro. I'm so I'm man. sitting here. He said, all right, man, all right, I'm coming. That so he nigga came. That at you. I was not going inside his house. Let me get you a fire below the shelf. Yeah, man. Like, his kid's worried. His kid's worried about it. Like, nigga. Uh, so, I got a movie on pause. They wait. Oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he come. We go to the hotel. And the hotel, whack as fuck, dog. Like, mm. he got me in some bullshit. Nigga, run the car, decline. Mm. <laughs> he run the car, another car, decline. I'm sitting looking at this nigga like, bruh. Too bad, cars. Come on, bruh. Like, I, I think I, I said, man, we got a problem? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I don't know what's going on. Nah, no, nigga. I know what's going on with car, decline. You ain't got a money on it. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm, let me call my wife. Oh. He called the wife, man. We sitting around. He trying to make small talk. I'm hot. Like, what? your wife show up. She uncertain. She like, hey, hey. Hey, yeah, buddy. <laughs> She oh, go she up to the machine, you know, I, like, like, mama, you had, you had a slot machine, and you hit the shit, like, come on, come on, come on, like, she, she, put, <laughs> she, wait for she the put the card in there, and she was sitting there, like, and I'm sitting there, like, and then it, it, it worked, and so then I, I went on and, and did the show, everything they tried fine, but that was my first real role experience Damn, and shit like that, that now, shit. my other story the house with the kids has the kids. nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh. But this is people that we know. I ain't gonna say no names. Oh man, man. we be saying so, names. No, nah, I'm not gonna say oh, no man. names. Right, the dick, the nigga. So a, a promoter who's also a comedian booked a headliner from Atlanta. The dude go up there. He headliner. The promoter's mama is young. She in the front row. She vibing with the headliner. Mm-hmm. After the show, they 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 in each other ear. Headline, try to take the nigga mama back to the room. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the mama. Yeah, I'm grown. I do what I want. I'm grown. Oh, hell yes, yeah. She is. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to ask y'all a pain. Let me tell you something. You ain't finna fuck my mama in the room I pay for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna fuck my mama in the room I pay for. I will burn this whole fucking hotel down. I ain't no goddamn way you finna fuck my mama in the room I pay for. Pay for now it's bad enough you gonna fuck my mama. Y'all can go somewhere else. Man. Nigga, you ain't not finna fuck my mama in the room that I pay for, dog. That's funny. Mommy. Am I wrong for that? No. no. Yeah, she, Nigga. She grown, right? Well, I don't care. You you're not finna fuck not in the room I pay for. That's what I'm saying. She need to have a room or something since she's so grown. <laughs> Since you out here fucking broke niggas, cars. mama. Hey, <laughs> right. it's wild out here in these common streets, man. Whoa, <laughs> now I need to have to know who this is. <laughs> Damn. I told you what. I tell you. I tell you. Yeah, I don't know who that is. That's crazy <laughs> as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can't believe it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't oh, believe I, yeah, yeah. Will we? Will we? Yeah, because yeah, right. it's, it's right. second hand it's information for somebody else. I would dare. But this, this shit you. crazy, man. Yeah, that's just Damn, crazy. Man. Damn, I wonder what his mama look like, though. Yeah. They say his mama look kind of nice. I mean, yeah, for him to go through all that, yeah. I would hope so. All the more jazzy chicks, you know, still be mm. trying to act young. Lady Eloise. Yeah. I wonder if he tried to uh, yeah. circle back like, shit, I was- you gonna give me uh, this year, right? You gonna, you gonna, <laughs> you gonna book, 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 book me back? back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had a good time last time. Now you can't, you can't fuck my mama. No you man, in the room that paid for them. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, right. Right. Can't have that. No sir, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uncomfortable thought. <laughs> Comics <laughs> are some grimy motherfuckers. That's true. Shh. I just, just be honest, man. In yeah. our profession, niggas is grimy. Some comics can't go to sleep until they have sex. Yeah, that's true. It's fucking yeah, no, it's insane. Real. It's like yep. watching Teen Wolf try to get. <laughs> so, I'm going to snatch that thing. Like a vampire that. trying to make sure they get some blood, <laughs> bro. It's like, bro, it is too late. It's three in the morning. Like, you know, I, I, I'm a late sleeper sometimes. So, like, back in the days when you was on the road and shit, you share a room with a motherfucker. Yeah. So, I'd be up smoking. I'm like, what, where the fuck are you going? Yeah. Like, what the hell? Is, where they, yo, I'm like, you know somebody out here? No, I don't know them. I was seeing somebody in the lobby. In the lobby? Yeah, in the lobby of the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, that's crazy. Nigga about to try to go fuck the clerk or something. Yeah, like, a nigga just got to get something going. Like, yeah, niggas, niggas, I realized, like, doing this comedy shit, niggas is like, niggas, it ain't just comedians. Is, Let's keep it. It ain't that comedians. Nigga, comedians weird, though. We be <laughs> doing something. Yeah. We, I mean, you got to already be kind of crazy to do this. Yeah. You got to think, you you getting up on stage, you telling people about yourself. Mm-hmm. Some comedians, man, they be on some other shit. 
No you shit. see shit all the time. You be like, man, what the fuck is you doing? Like yeah. to me, it's like it's one thing to do the after party, you know what I'm saying, out of town, but then it's another thing to get drunk and fucked up at the after party. He don't know nobody in the city, bro. Yeah, bro. It's some niggas who would really get belligerently drunk bro. or wasted. And you bro. like nigga, you don't know no one I don't here. Know that shit. I did a show before and uh somewhere in South Carolina, I can't remember exactly what it was, but after the show, I'm selling my merch, I can feel it. I can feel the wolves. Mm. I can feel them looking. <laughs> and they do this whole spread out this liquor. I told my man, hey man, let me holler at you, bro. come out to the car, got to the car, say, I just shook his hand, I'm about to leave. You finna leave? Hell yeah. All this yeah. liquor? I made a bunch of stirring. Man, you ain't finna be robbed. Hell no. Nah. I don't know y'all. Right. I don't do none of that partying after the show with people mm. I don't know. Hell no. Nah. None of that. Unless you got security or something. I don't right. do it then. I don't know y'all. I don't, you know, I don't you know, even know. Depending on, man. Depending on if it's a strip club or not. Because niggas don't really. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be chilling in the strip club, the security. Like, like when you've been in a small town and shit, like yeah. security be by your little area and they yeah, walk yeah, into your car yeah. and drive yeah, you yeah, out yeah, and shit. Yeah. I don't know. That one club we went to, what, what, was that Memphis? Everything we went Memphis. to and it was, it was weird. It was just like, it was weird energy. But uh, K Star was with us. Uh, oh, that was, no. Ohio? That was Cleveland. Cleveland. What the fuck was we? Why was we out in Cleveland? Nigga, because you had some party you had to do. Oh yeah, damn! Wow, yeah. I'll never do that again. Yeah, that's I forgot about it. Scary <laughs> city you ever been in? Like you just really felt uncomfortable. Mm. Damn, I don't know where it was. No, no, no. Where Nard had us. Mm -hmm. Oh, goddamn in Tennessee. <laughs> that shit, Georgia. Yeah, Y'all yeah, was uncomfortable in a different way. Huh? Y'all yeah. was uncomfortable in a different way. The Airbnb was in the crack house. <laughs> that shit oh. was directly <laughs> across the street from the J spot. The trap, trap. Oh, yeah. Javid. Boarded up windows, boarded like plywood door. Yeah. They, they had the oh, porch. No, no, no. They had the for that. porch <laughs> blocked off. For that. With a big ass piece of plywood, that bro, shit was we seen bumping it, we seen all it. day. <laughs> I seen a Jay put a whole couch on his head mm -hmm. and roll a bike and pull a bike. <laughs> nah, because somebody had got put out. And like, fresh furniture, nigga. The uh, trap house on this corner across yeah. the street, somebody had got put out. It's a bunch of shit on the street. So it's, nah, like, it's people driving by putting shit in the car. <laughs> and now I'm trying to get me to go up there and do that room, man. And I said, I'm going to wait to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it when they first start the room. Yeah. Like, y'all was the first ones to go, y'all. Nah, about the second. Second and last, probably. Nah, nah it, it went for like a, two uh, months. Yeah, yeah. Like two, yeah. Months yeah. Before that day, man, I ain't do that. It's not calling from heaven, right? For now. me, <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> for me, Baltimore. Baltimore, Baltimore I, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I was, I was in my feelings, man. Yeah. Man, I swear, man, because I did watch the wild, I don't know. I thought I was in the wild, bro. Man, the row houses. I just watched the wild. The row house crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been new. I've been in the hood. I've been fucking New Orleans, all over the place, you know, Compton. I hung out mm. all over Chicago. Re -re I, bro, Baltimore. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Had me in my feelings. Had to go out and did some shit in Baltimore, too, like on, on the after party shit. Mm. And it was, it was, yeah. It was it scary. Was interesting. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Um, shit, Atlanta, nigga. Yeah, yeah some parts of Atlanta. Y'all niggas acting like this place ain't scary yeah, in some parts. Some parts of Atlanta. Atlanta got his spots, got his spots. They got his yeah. spots. Yeah, yeah, these little niggas ain't playing with y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I feel comfortable in Atlanta most of the time. Where, now, where in Atlanta do your spotter senses start tingling? By the project. Outside. Huh? <laughs> you said outside. Edgewood? She said Edgewood. By uh, the projects to... Damn, the first thing is on Peter Street. That's on Peter Street. The same thing. Same thing. I was scared over there. Yeah. Peter Street. Yeah. 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 Nigga, I was I wasn't robbed on Peter Street, but I was with some niggas that was robbed on Peter Street. Nigga, that shit was crazy. I, last week, nigga, I saw somebody shit get broken into on Peter Street. Yeah, I saw. You know what? That's what, you know what. Also, that's what made Cloud Nine so dope because nobody came down there with the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Did, you know what I'm saying did. nobody came to fucking. Shout with out to that. Cloud Nine. But Peter Street that, was right. some rough ass shit. Like it's still kind of fucked up, it but he's been real rough. Yeah, it right. depends on how far down Peter Street you go. That's true. That's close to. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it used to get down. But hold on though. Street is safe. Yeah, the further you, you, you go down, you feel the, fur, the, fur, the closer you get to Castleberry. Oh my God! You boy. feel that way, but the the right across from Spring Street is magic where it go down there too. You know what I'm saying? It's because it's, 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 it's a right great there too, station. Nigga. It's like niggas that's what I'm saying. So it's like what a one street away from being cool. It's a, listen, that's man, Atlanta. Though, that's I've been saying for a long time, bro. Two block, 
radius. I don't give a fuck where you at in Atlanta. You're going down. You go two <laughs> blocks in any direction, you are liable to be in danger. Bible. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It ain't guaranteed. But right here, right it's now, close, yeah. if we go two blocks yeah. uh, east into we at? old Fourth Ward. For, oh, yeah. Yeah, nigga. It can get yeah. ugly I had came here to shoot gentrification happens, but they don't get it up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, ain't no, no way to all the no way gentrified, dog. You know I had saying? came here to shoot some roaches some a couple in weeks building. ago, and I had to like change my shirt because it had some green in it. So I was like, I'm going to run to the um, like gas station real quick just to get the sun shirt. Man, what I gas went, station you went to? Oh, it was a, it was a, it was the closest one was like a Texaco, like that way. Well, any Texaco? I was just name. about to say. First of all, let me <laughs> any tell you, Texaco? I don't know what Texaco got yeah, with trapping. Yeah, it's yeah. it's probably with Texaco. Yeah. Texaco is basically what you trapping. They That's sponsor the drugs. They sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They the official out the Texaco. Sponsor fentanyl. It must be Gucci fault. For the Texaco, Texaco man, shit, yeah. and then the homeless, Trapping the homeless moments Texas. get very nah. bold, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that very area bold. over there can make you feel a way too. Boulder Crest, <laughs> hell yeah, that oh yeah, quick. Boulder Crest. That's one of my my, my <laughs> uncle. Like where he used to smoke crack. Bro, that that was his weird. area of choice. Uh, Boulder Crest. Yeah, he's had the had the most delectable crack. Boulder Crest two hundred five. Boulder Crest. Niggas got the most delicious bro, crack. Bro. This my delicious man. crack. Yeah. Yeah. And this nigga, this nigga yeah, used to, he used to watch yeah. the watch the wheels of the AT wheelers, but the the uh, QT went by Boulder Crest, bread. and um, they end up getting kicked off the lot. Oh. So my daddy carried to visit him as his youngest brother. He won't see his brother. And we we he can say, let me show you how I make my money. <laughs> Around here, he can't get out because he bad for the lot. Yeah, so he put it around. Then we, we watch the times. Man, I make a money. And he proud. I will say my uncle was the most responsible crackhead you ever be in your life. I, I ain't said it because my uncle. He just he won <laughs> typically. He won reckless like someone. Yeah. His mom, my dad said that's the tallest midget. Who is most responsible <laughs> crackhead? My dad was elated. <laughs> walking up down some wedges. Uh -huh. Walking up down, it's hot as hell. <laughs> my, my dad was like. Who, who, who my dad studied? Like, who, 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 who that? He said, "That's that's up." Oh, he said, "There are peaches, the peaches." Somebody said, "She look out for us." How the fuck she look out for y'all crackhead? And she like she selling pussy. <laughs> he said, "You see that? You see that truck over there? It's yeah, a the truck over there full of watermelon." Yeah. She said watermelon too. My dad said this bitch selling pussy. Watermelon, <laughs> nigga, take me home. <laughs> take me home right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that was his area, man. Pussy and watermelon. Let me say something, bro. I ain't gonna lie though. You know what I mean? That's that's I feel sweet. like, yeah, because that's how I feel like, fuck it, I'm gonna be happy. Right. When the pussy you. ain't selling. Solid combo. <laughs> and like, if the she, pussy ain't selling. She gonna get these watermelons off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, officer, my, my watermelon truck is down yeah. there. Yeah. Just... Good cover. You know. And see, and it's. <laughs> It's a nigga that will can't drive past either one. <laughs> <laughs> so like, See you selling watermelon and can't man. It's somebody selling water. I got to go and get yeah, yeah, watermelon. And there's some niggas that see pussy. selling pussy, but yeah. that's chill. Selling pussy. I or he'd be like, "Well, why I'm here? Yeah, for real. Because I'm getting watermelon. <laughs> Might as well partake of that pussy. I ain't but never ate a hot right. watermelon though. Yeah. <laughs> you ever ate a, a straight, straight off the truck? Straight off the truck melon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't let it sit in the house to get room temp, but I ain't oh, never. You're a serial killer, bro. Yeah, you know. yeah well, they, but my uncle used to stay at a crack house over there, and he was, he was a full of crackheads. He was the most <laughs> responsible one there. He kept the grass cut, bro. Who? And, <laughs> He's cutting crack grass. And, he cut, and then so my dad went over there. Away. There's an old lady, yeah. her son was crackhead, and all his friends, she got him stayed up. Uh -huh. My dad ain't never met. She take care of his little brother. He won't go talk to her. Nigga, the Pit bull like he was on crack. He like everybody, <laughs> everybody get cracked out. We sit up on the carport, and my dad, said, dad said, I, I appreciate what you doing for my brother. I said, but the, the doctor didn't told him the, the nigga heart about to give out. He got twenty percent of his heart left. If the motherfucker die, unless you gonna give me some money, I'm not gonna pay no money to throw no dirt in his face. It cost eight hundred dollars to, to cremate him on burn his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> so dirt in his face is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna burn his ass up. Oh, they say, You ain't gonna burn him up, is you? My dad said, Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna burn his ass up. Yeah. Because he know better than be doing this damn dope. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. 20% of his heart is crazy. What you're telling Sheesh. me. That's why. Yeah. your heart left, bro. I'm just, I'm hey, guessing. Bro. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna go crack crazy. If I got 20% <laughs> of mine, you can't come back from 20. Yeah, yeah you tell me. I, tell, I said, Man, listen, man, it's gonna take you out, bro. He said, He said, Nephew, you don't understand. I like how it tastes. <laughs> 
And if you ain't never tasted, you ain't gonna understand yeah. what it is. If he got all crack, he was probably gonna die right then anyway, though. Yeah, yeah that's that's usually when they die. Yeah. Hey, what's something that you can't Ooh. damn near live without? Like it ain't it's your crack. Weed. We yeah. like like yeah. besides we oh, I think it's better. Obviously we eat food, nigga. So oh, okay. <laughs> well no one can live without food. Right, right, right. right. Food been tasting good lately. <laughs> Not lately, <laughs> got that. Just a little bit better. Did you really start to fuck with it. Just really start really fuck with it now. <laughs> They did something with all the recipes. That shit tastes good. With well, all of them. All, 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 all of them. Everybody tweaked yeah. their shit. They put some in the food of fentanyl and they got down pieces or something. That's funny. Yeah. Some in the pieces, uh, though, man. That's funny as hell. Ooh, they, um, was that Chick fil A? Somebody, something they were saying they were putting some type of addictive drugs in, like something at Chick fil A. That was obviously probably making chicken, yeah, man. Because, like, yeah, yeah, there's never been a history of chicken that's been that long of a line for chicken that yeah. every day for right. that. And long they all time. taste that same. Like, KFC good. used to be busting, wow. but niggas was never in a line for yeah. KFC. Yeah. Like, used to that love long. some KFC. Niggas, it, it, it's they horrible, man. They had the line long one time. Oh, yes. When they gave out that. They came they, out they with grilled chicken, chicken and they gave it out for free. <laughs> that grilled Ooh, chicken, oh, you remember that yeah. weekend? Chick fil A had that every day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> them lines the was down to the They were good. Fighting. <laughs> the Popeye Popeye's sandwich wasn't good to me. It was just okay. Listen, okay. It was just okay. Right. They were capped. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I ain't gonna lie either. Mm. Did y'all I, get them early? I missed nah. all of that mm. hype. Mm. I ain't had one of them sandwiches till like two weeks ago. Damn. What you think? And that shit was good as fuck. <laughs> I mean, they might have got it back right. Yeah, I, got it right. Like I think said, they had, I it think must be the new recipe. It's a new shit. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's a new shit. I think what happened delicious. I think what happened with the Popeye shit is like they, they had them delicious at first and they ran out real fast. Remember, like stores was running out, so they probably just was like, we're gonna throw anything in here now because they buying it anyway. Mm -hmm. And then once mm -hmm. it kind of settled down and they probably got the recipe back right. Them right. ghost pepper chicken wings. Spicy yeah. chicken. Yeah. Huh? I feel like them sandwiches. That's mm. what it's probably what was in there. Yeah. That's why COVID was getting passed. I'll tell you around. that shit in the cucumber challenge. I remember that the bitch cucumber. was sucking cucumbers, putting it back in the thing, yeah. and licking ice cream. It's really I'm birthday cake. Two weeks after the ice cream shit. Two weeks after the I seen the ice cream looking shit. It was COVID. I ain't advocate for no violence. But nigga, <laughs> it's better catch your ass licking ice cream. You need your ass beat right there. Right there. I don't give a damn who you are, man. You need a piece of skin took off of you. Nigga. Yeah. What kept COVID going? I ain't trying to tell nobody cut nobody, but cut them. Was birthday cake. Huh? Blowing out the candles on the birthday cake. That was nasty. People weren't even just looking at that mm -hmm. shit. You cutting that cake and everybody. But people been doing that for years, though. Yeah. That the cucumber shit just started. Start. Like, when Boosie, COVID hit you, know, what did the drug spreading. trade slow down? Because huh? I wasn't outside. Was the crackhead still around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we in Atlanta, though, so everything was still around. There. Yeah. Yeah. And then niggas started like getting extra money from out of nowhere. So like shit the drug business oh, yeah. was booming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I want to start selling crack. Crack. My uncle passed, so he he missed all that. Uh, uh, rest yeah, in peace, huncle. Yeah. 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 Stop uh, smoking my, crack. My uncle's still up, running up and down the eleven. Shout, for real? shout out Uncle Junior. I'm telling you, dog, if you smust if he was to quit. You no, lose your yeah, uncle Junior. Yeah, he can't. You can't worry about it. Huh? I don't know if he could or not, but I'm just telling you that nobody here. No, I'm saying if he do, he's probably, you know what I mean? He, he don't last. Yeah. That's they, the crazy they, part they, about They said my uncle do a uh, rehab man by four times. Mm -mm. He ain't take. Yeah. I don't think crack you get rehab crack. Like rehab. I know some people crack. that was on it and Alcohol got off. and heroin. They got off. I know some people that was on crack. Rehab. Now I don't know how, but I they was on they, it. They yeah. were on it, and now they regular. They they out here, you know, <laughs> doing they they, living their life. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you know, crack it, I can start wait. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they regular. <laughs> but I, they regular. Right it's still a little crack residue in them, regular. man. So wait. Huh? Especially when they be up all night. And then they really go acting crazy mm. then. Like, yeah, but I don't know if they ever get all the way back regular, though. There's some more than handicap. Mm. There's some residue. Mom, my, my uncle, when regular. you when huh? you take it away from it, we took, we took him down to Savannah, and he, long that whole dry, he slept. He slept that whole day, and then we woke up, he was somewhat oh, Okay. Ready. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he didn't have it. He, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. we got his hair cut and shit, we act like a regular person. And then he got back here. <laughs> got back on us. A crackhead with a haircut, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think the crackhead be getting cut? Of course they do. Man. Crackheads do everything, but it's just so funny because it's like, yo, yeah, some functional crack. Nigga, like, yo, I'm gonna go get my hair cut to smoke. <laughs> like, put, put it in the comments if you do crack, man. You know, what yeah, man? for real, man. You know, I crackericans. Functioning at it's all the time though. 
Like when I was a kid, we, us. we yeah. We, well, I mean, man, but <laughs> I mean, but no. But my my yeah. partner, mom. Bro, we smoke about as much as crackheads do. Probably way more, actually. Way more. I don't know that that's true, bro. I don't know how much crackheads smoke. Crackhead hit the pipe probably about five times a day. You gonna rob a nigga if you ain't got no black? No, I didn't say I didn't say that. I said we no, just we do more about than that. Addicts, bro. Okay. You talking? Yeah, you talking, talking about, about, you about the, 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 how much you do it? Yeah. You talking about the I'm behavior? Talking, yeah, okay, I ain't I'm talking, talking about the behavior. That, I'm talking about the what, amount of times you do it. That's what induces. That, that's what. That's what make you an addict. Nigga, you can be if an addict you're without it. Coca Cola. What are you gonna do yeah, to yeah, get it? Yeah, Coca Cola. Something wrong. Coke's good, this motherfucker. <laughs> you can be an act to anything. Fuck man, thousand dollars got me. My friend, I was little though. My like friend, thousand? mom was on was on cocaine. Thousand dollars made me throw. What, what happened? Oh, I just said thousand dollars. I eat it every day. <laughs> Them niggas hate it. I don't like mayonnaise though. That's the funny part. And that shit is mayonnaise. Based. What the fuck do you put on thousand dollars? You eat a salad every day. Mm-hmm. I like thousand dollars. Why nigga beanies? But well, like <laughs> my, my my friend when I was little, his mom was on cocaine. And we go over there play video games, <laughs> and she'll walk through the house with no bra, no shirt on. Hey, and my nigga be shaming and shit. Ma, shut the fuck up, boy. Uh, just be swiping, no. like, yeah, we yeah, sitting yeah. there looking like, yeah. yeah I was yeah, like, brother, sir. can we go to your house? <laughs> you ain't got the game with your house. I'll bring my, I'll bring the game to your house. Fuck it. My mama just played too much. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Nigga, mama wasn't on no cocaine, boy. You ever fuck with one of your homeboy's sisters? I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. You don't tell him though. Till no. y'all grown. All my homeboy sisters like had yeah, older sisters. Oh, I mean, okay. yeah, they were older. You you said it like cause you did. No, I always wanted to though. Oh. <laughs> what, what kept you I got up? two homeboys. I got four, five homeboys that was Some like bad sisters. my age, mm-hmm. but then their sisters was a grade younger. Mm-hmm. Nigga. Or a grade older. Mm-hmm. Shit. Boy, I seen one on I seen one of my homeboy today. Well, not today, about two, three days ago. Anyway, he was like, yeah, man, sister, she ain't doing too good. You know what I'm saying? She was with some lame man, nigga. I was like, word for real. <laughs> Who's my chance? Did you Facebook her? For real? Nah, nigga, she got like four kids. She uh, ain't the same person. No, of course not. Yeah, she ain't damn. the same person. So always damn. I used to hate them niggas that didn't want nobody to holiday their sister, but they holiday about their sister. You gonna holler at somebody, cool sister? Fat, nigga. <laughs> I mean, I think I think that's just kind of the brotherly thing to do. I don't have no sisters, but I, I feel like maybe that's just like I got a sister. You, you feel know. obligated. None of your close homeboys ain't never been like no. my sister's one. My sister's four years younger than me. That's weird. So yeah, if you was we seniors in high school, you hollered at my eighth grade sister. Like, I would yeah, it's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's murder and death kill. But, they, but y'all all went to the same school though, so I was like. <laughs> what are you trying to say, sir? That nigga what? went through a first through twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a kindergarten first uh, through, K through 12. twelve. Nah, right? fuck that K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that K. K hey. hey, twelve school, bro. Yeah, y'all, y'all fuck with the, the Clav Union shits from high school. Yeah, yeah I, I bet you, you. You went. Yeah. I you mean, don't no, 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 be tripping y'all with those special ed niggas be trying to act normal? <laughs> <laughs> like, we, 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 like, we forgot. Like, we forgot and shit. I, I, but here's the thing about the special ed kids from my school. If you walked them in here right now, I wouldn't know who they was. I've seen them niggas like four times in the whole school. Yeah, yeah. that'd be tough. You gotta, that's why you got to do name tags and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, but hold on. I'm from my little school on Mississippi. Uh, yeah. I know them niggas. Yeah. I know yeah. all of them. Keep them niggas locked away. But y'all know. never went to <laughs> elementary... <laughs> So funny. <laughs> they had y'all locked away. No, I'm not a spare. He nigga. talking about. He said he keep you. them niggas locked away. <laughs> no, I'm about to say, bro. Like, <laughs> they was on a different hall. They, in my school, they wasn't locked away. They was locked away, bro. You didn't see them niggas. So bro. you can't Damn. have no access to these. Did niggas. not see them. You <laughs> heard about them. No, you nah. heard about them. It's like, crazy. Man, them <laughs> but crazy you, hey, hey, but hey, nigga, you know when the chocolate milk gone, because you can hit them niggas. Do them hit these down the hall. My coach oh, had a class, but it, I don't think it was like super sped. It was just like super learning dis- disabled, but they used to be in there playing Super Behavior Nintendo problem. and shit. So I would go in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, I mean, yeah. Man, you be growing to be like, man, these kids ain't like we used to be. Yeah. Nigga, we wasn't in the same class. So, so you never went to like <laughs> what you talk elementary about? school, talk to me like that. middle school, but then when you got to high school, some <laughs> niggas weren't in the class no more. Like they'll still go to your school, but they went yeah, to class. Yeah, you see them at lunch. They go to lunch. Yeah, you be yeah. like, nigga, what the fuck, Michael? You wouldn't go. even see them at lunch. When you go into lunch, you would see them <laughs> on the way wave. out. Yeah. Of lunch. And they catch the bus early. <laughs> you like, bro? But <laughs> it was one nigga that was 
and especially uh, he could fight the world. Yeah. So oh, ain't yeah, nobody all, fuck with that man's team. They all you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then it was two other niggas. Nigga Frank. Who uh could skate their ass off? So it'll be like skate, slow skate, skaters. nigga. So they'll be special in school, <laughs> but at the skating rink, they superstars, yeah. my nigga. Like you sure they weren't playing because if you can skate, I feel like you ain't slow. Me too, bro. And they'll be doing all the <laughs> moves, all the I tricks. Skate. I ain't never seen no slow nigga skate, bro. You got, you got to learn a disability. Then you got niggas be, with behavior problem. They, yeah. they, they the placement test, they fuck right. them up, and then they stick them in the same class. Same so now class. you actually kind of regular. You can skate, like but now jail. the nigga beside you got a helmet on. In the class, so you but know, when they used to when they used to skate real fast, and if you was like skating slow, they'd be like, "Woo woo 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 so we had a dude named Andy Cook, and okay. the cook was not, he was mental, like he had some shit going on, but back then, you know, he ain't had the money to get the pills for a whole month. So around about the 20th of the month, the nigga pill went out. And so now the nigga showing out. He acting like a fucking fool all around the neighborhood and shit. <laughs> Last 10 and days so, of the month, he go crazy. Everybody know, here you go. Man, you sad mom, mama, mama like, get up, get up, come on, go out there, get that damn boy out the street. So I go out there. And then laying on the ground and grab with a imaginary rifle, shooting at the car. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, school bus. My sister was quiet. This nigga make a beeline to her. He sit with her. He put his face right here on oh her face the whole time. Hole and say banana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Why you ain't stopping? Hey, I'm childish. Hey, <laughs> I'm supposed to be on that bus. First of all, mom, right? He was on the wrong bus. <laughs> no, they got to get home, bro. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody. Ain't no, no, they have a. They, they had that special bus. That's what I'm saying. So, oh, they didn't have yeah, that yeah, because Odai Eric, he he was there by us, so we oh, had to ride the bus with us. Damn, yeah, he was being the acting oh, a fool. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's just crazy. like jail, man. They just throw everybody, people with mental issues and just behavioral issues, all in the same spot, and be like, work it out, nigga. Same food, same meal. <laughs> Shit be kind of funny though. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, man. Nigga, I'm sorry, man. I got, I got, I'm challenged there. <laughs> that thing got me thinking about silly shit funny. Yo, man. This nigga is crazy as hell. Oh, God. Man, see them teachers be trying to get them kids. They put them all. They don't do the, uh, they call it exclusion. You know? Like back when you school, they had a special ed class. Now mm-hmm. they put them all in red class. So to see the teachers having They do? Them. Really? Yeah, unless they physically fucked uh-huh. up, like so, they'll put them in there, and so now teacher got to keep wrangling these. Fuckers. Oh no, nah, that's no, nah, get them out of my room. School, that's crazy. School different though. Yeah. That's why teachers are dropping out. Hell yeah, man, I had to go talk to this class. This lady, she bring people. I, I don't know. She had no. She had there. Damn, I think she bring comedians, mm-hmm. UFC fighters, politicians come talk to the class every year. Go down there, and she told me. She said this. This year is different. I got a bully in the class. I'm like. You had bullet last year. Say, like, no, nah, you understand? The bullet is flaming gay. <laughs> I'm like, how does that work, Bruh. <laughs> it's so I get in crazy. there, and he he wilded, bro. He out of control, dude. They got student athletes in there, and he punking them. Bruh. What you mean, bro? I'm hey, talking to the lineman. He a lineman. I'm talking to him. The gay dude kept getting up. Every time he get up, it's like the harps be playing. It's, it feel like he's a pink dust <laughs> flying around. Man. He come around there. The dude talking to me. He said, boy, bye. Boop. And booped him. He took his finger <laughs> and booped him. him on his nose. And I'm sitting there looking like, nigga, y'all let me. What I can't say. You don't try to be professional. I'm like, y'all let me. Oh, man. Y'all let him boop y'all now? That's a lose lose fight though. That's uh, crazy, bro. You, if you beat his ass, you hate crime. Hate crime. Hate crime. He booped him. Expelled, <laughs> I feel like so. You got like to boop him back. I you got to boop him back. Got to get 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 game with this nigga. I said you all right. It's your only option. I said you all right, big dog. Bully, you got to out game him. You got to out game him, bro. That's the only. Pull your ass out, man. I said you all right, big dog. Boop you, you boop him back. Boop, yeah, yeah. Anybody boop you at school, you make sure you boop you, you boop the right back. Boop. 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 Where we at, bro? Boop you, you where we boop. at these days where the student athlete getting booped? Man. Damn. But then he, he, that kid, he probably... He probably knocked somebody smooth the hell out he in front of everybody in the school. Everybody in the school. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and he, he probably knocked like, somebody the hell out of like that like, he ain't like that type. He just... How is he a bully? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They were just letting him do it. 
I ain't like, man, what's right, that? Middle what's school, one of them, he got an older brother or something. Or he, fu- something, or he something, fucked yeah, that boy something. and he can't say nothing. I said, you all right, big dog? I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. He said, y'all, 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 and then the gay dude say, "Don't be messing now." I like, "Yep." Let me hold. Let me go ahead and finish. Yeah, this don't be messing now. You not gonna tell yeah. me don't be messing now. You ain't gonna walk up in the you class, bro. Me, you right. <laughs> get booted too, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> Little baby gay. Yeah. Got them pull out the switch and hit you. Tell that nigga, it's school man. Different, man. Yeah. School different, man. School different, bro. Yeah, they are, man. Bro. Running trains on girls in school man. And, and threesomes that ain't, and that ain't no they thing. having anal rorts. Well, trains ain't new, you're right. But threesomes, like they setting it up for just the threesome is I feel like that. We ain't never do so, that in college. So, I mean we do it. Well, yeah, we do it in college or high school. What shit. you mean so, setting it up? My like setting up like how you how we would set up a threesome now, like doing that in, in high school. Yeah. Like I got two bitches, I'm out of fuck. You know what I mean? Bro, I got the hotel. Like what? After the show did pass a uh, weekend, a teacher came to me and we talk. I got part of my set where I talk about teacher. She said mm-hmm. she do she do uh junior high eighth graders. She said a girl when the girl get up, asked to go to the bathroom. When the girl go to the bathroom, she said, maybe it wasn't even five minutes later, you kept hearing the notification on air by the phone. Ding, ding, all the little boys. All the boys are picking up the fucking phone. She in the bathroom, playing with her son, and, and sitting in the video. Who the hell is this, though? Boy. Hey, hey, school so different, though. School I different. Don't know what school I would do. Yeah, drop the juvenile giant. <laughs> school <laughs> different, <laughs> Don't air drop the juvenile joint. Jesus. Then the teacher got to go and. Oh, man. That what kind of fuck. That's a hell of a call home to your parents. Bro. But, nigga, high school. It was also can get you locked up. Hell yeah. High school, we had a homegirl. You know what I'm saying? They put kids on tape. They They put kids in jail for sure. For sure, her pussy? Yes. For real. Damn. Yeah. 100%. If one of them kids, parents had got a hold of that. And felt the way and took it down to the police. They could have put that little girl in jail. How old? Eighth grader. Eighth graders. How old? Fourteen. Fourteen. Nah, fifteen. 13, is Ten grade. Thirteen. 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 Yeah. But, but so me, Rodney Perry, and a couple other people we used to play with the, uh, uh, the Lakers in the house. We go talk to some kids in, in an auditorium. Uh, the kids is crazy. Afterwards. <laughs> Sign an autograph. Now you know this mama was six thirteen and all the <laughs> middle school. So he you can see his body and they all down by his waist. All of a sudden he throw his hands up in there like this and walk out to see a children. Like what the fuck happened? He said a little girl was touching his dick. Oh, <laughs> and pin it on his ass. God. Oh, he was no, twelve years old, bro. Bro, what's going on, bro? What is that? Today in school is crazy. Man, I, hey, shout out to teachers, man. Shout out hey, to teachers, man. Bro. I ain't no hey, I love y'all, more, man. man. Like, y'all going through too much, man. Y'all get no support for the faculty. Yeah, bro. Man, now, that's crazy. one job that if it go completely to AI, I understand. <laughs> like, if teachers. teachers just be, be robots from, like, like the next 10 years, I, I get it. Because wanting to do that every single day and then start. And then even if you get a class that does right, then next year you got to start all over and you probably get another bad class. It's like, oh, my God. Dog. Like, salute to y'all, man. Salute to all of hey, my hey, teachers hey, <laughs> hey, 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 and bleep that nigga name or something because I don't know that nigga on me. <laughs> oh, I don't even know who name you says. We gotta bleep every name you said. Right. You talking oh. about? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, we'll bleep but, that. Baby, uh, kids, crazy man. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But he did the he did the right thing though. Oh, yeah, 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 and then yeah. we went in the faculty room and told T hey man, they did yeah. that, they, they, they say, but he kid crazy, ain't it? <laughs> hey, hey, y'all ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> he kid crazy, ain't it? <laughs> like, but y'all he, want said, he, said, <laughs> he said he said, what we gonna do? They gonna be day word against they gonna it's gonna be a yeah. big shit. Oh, yeah, so yeah. and I, I guess like, like, I don't want you to do nothing per se, but like I'm just letting y'all know y'all doing a bad job. Man, school crazy, man. All right, man. My nigga Marvin, I I gotta go. My fault, brother. I don't know if y'all. Oh no, no, it's, it's all good. We, 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 we did we did enough time, man. Yeah, I, I had a good time on this one. Good old time. Um, damn, I don't know who do who is it. You got some Patreon subscribers? Yeah. All right, Patreon. I wanna um uh, shout to y'all, man. Yes. <laughs> um, new Patreon subscribers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We Racist got David Hill, man. new member. David Hill. Todd Scott. Okay. Righteous Rebel. Righteous. Righteous Rebel. Rebel. Uh, shit. That might be it. Chuck P. I think I said them last time. All right. 
Chuck P. Shout Chuck out to y'all, man. Alindra. Al- Alandra. Alind- Alindra. Whoa. Alindra? Alindra? Allegra. <laughs> oh, it looked like his Ali. daddy named Alan, mm-hmm. and he had a girl. Name, you know what I'm saying? That's what happened. And his wife's name was Kendra. It's Alan with Dra at the end. Alindra. 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 Uh, yeah, that sounds like a new Kia. Shut up, man. That Kia Alindra. All right, man. Culture comments, man. Um, since yeah. Marvin don't watch the show, he don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, at the end of the show, we, uh, you know, our culture weekends, people in the comments, they love to roast us. So we go mm-hmm. back and read their roast. Okay. Doja DeVille, 444, repeat offender. You know, Remo um, had been late to, like he was today, to a yeah. few other okay. episodes. Okay. And it says, when, when y'all gonna reveal Remo been absent shooting roots too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what character? <laughs> nigga, LeVar Burton. Yeah. Bro, that's son. funny as shit. <laughs> that nigga Fitler's son. Yo, somebody else say I was on goddamn One Love. Oh, the movie? <laughs> yeah. I ain't see it. Me either. I ain't see that. Damn. I'm I got one from Ronnie, but I'm gonna wait till he come back. That shit funny as hell. What you think about it? Did you see it? I and See, I. Molly was a part of it, man. <laughs> Damn, right. That's real. Man, talk your shit, man. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, is it that time, brother? Yeah, I think it is. We uh we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. We get the people some words of wisdom. Get through the week, get to the next episode. I am Kamal the Secret Genius, and the words of the week are this. Ladies. Get funky. If a nigga got alpha male in his bio, <laughs> he will beat your ass. <laughs> totally. <laughs> to oblivion. <laughs> Murderer. <laughs> Either that, or he wants you to play with his. Mm. Oh, my yeah. God. One of the two. Damn. I didn't think that was coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> you got an anal <laughs> male? That's alpha ma- alpha mass. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, Robin, man. More appreciate you, brother. Oh, yeah. Appreciate y'all having me. Brand. Man. Yeah, tell the people where to follow you and all that shit. Hey, man, get with me at Comedian Marvin H1. That's Comedian Marvin H1 on TikTok and Instagram. Marvin Hunter's fan page on Facebook. You got any, any shows coming up? I am the resident comedian at the Laughing School for the whole month of February. Come on, man. Um, yeah, hey, man. Hey, Friday. look. How about this then? Anytime um, a nigga go up there and pander to the white audience, can like can y'all get it like the hook thing? Bro, we just were talking about that before we get went on air, man. Yeah. What the hell going on? Bro? I mean, you in charge now, nigga. Let's go. Well, man, I'm coming now, bro. We throwing right. eggs at niggas. Bro, bro. Well, I ain't, I ain't seen it. I ain't niggas. seen it. So no, I, no. I ain't seen none of that since I've been up here, but that's crazy. Nah, nah we gonna find we're gonna go, go and find go it. They just You know what you know what though? With you hosting, it probably makes it a little Oh, no, I'm headline. I'm closed Oh, now. I'm tripping. Closed now. Yeah. But with you on the on the marquee, it probably makes it a little more difficult for niggas to come up there and pander. I think, you know, and they probably do it mostly during the open mic joints anyway, yeah. too. Listen, you don't have to pander to white people to be funny. <laughs> white people don't need don't black like, people. They don't like that shit. They don't like it. Mm-hmm. Just be funny. They will, They love so. to steal our shit, so right. they need to, uh, yeah. for us to be ourselves. They so don't want to steal some art. Like, bro, we can't steal for the shit that we do already, nigga. <laughs> do your shit so we can steal it. Fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> more than culture's the brand, it's more than culture's show. Marvin Super Genius from Ryan Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Special guest, Marvin Hunter. You did. We out, man. It must Ooh. be genius. Ah.